Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily and I do a bunch of tutorials here on my channel, mostly about Salesforce and other connected systems to Salesforce. Uh, today we are going to be going in and doing a report on contacts. Um, I am doing a reporting series on my channel, so if you have a want to learn more about how to report in Salesforce, then it should be the first link down in the description down below. Um, it's just a playlist on reporting. So let's go ahead and jump into the reports tab. One thing I will note before we move on um, is make sure that you are in the correct app. So right now I'm in the sales app. You can choose different apps and this will give you different options for tabs. So from here, you can see we're in sales. Let's say you are in marketing, you may not be able to see the reports tab. So make sure that you're in the correct one. Going to reports, click new report there at the top. And now we can choose and find our contacts that we want to look at um, for our report type. So there are a bunch of different report types and the language of the report type will determine what type of information you will see on your report and what fields will be available to you when you are reporting. So if you see just one group of data, so just accounts or just opportunities, what are other ones? Just cases, things like that, um, then you will only see information about that group of data. So just accounts, just opportunities. Um, you may see other things like and or with. So there's a difference between these two and how the groups of data are meshed together. When you see an and statement, um, you will see both groups of data and their connection, but they may not have a connection. So as an example, let's take this contacts and accounts. Um, let's say you have contacts one, two, three, and accounts A, B, C. Um, when you have an and statement, you may have where contact one is related to account A. However, you could have it where you see them if there is no relationship. So you could have um, on the same report contact two, but they're not related to account B. Um, with a with statement, you will see them only if they have a relationship. So you will see, let's say, accounts with partners. You will see all accounts and you will see partners, but only if they are attached to that account or linked to that account. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but I hope that was a good um, explanation. Let's type in contacts and see if there's just a regular contact does not look like there is. So let's go ahead and jump into contacts and accounts. You can ask your admin or if you are an admin to create the contacts report type. Um, and if I have a video on that, I will link that down below. If not, I'll put it in the playlist when it is created. As you can see, we do not have any records returning. Um, one thing I do like to have toggled on is updating the preview automatically, so then you don't have to save and run every single time when you make a change. Um, I'm going to open up our filters. So the filters narrow down the information that we will see based upon a criteria. So right now, um, they have to be created on or after December 5th of this year, which is probably the one that's creating um, no records being shown. And we also have the records, the only ones are showing are owned by me. So I'm going to open it up to all accounts. Or was there an all contacts? I'll do just my contacts because I know I own all the records in this system. And then create a date. Um, and then we'll choose our range. I want to have this be all time. Click apply. And there we go. We have my contacts that were created whenever. As you can see, we have a lot of different fields and not all of them are showing up. 
So let's go ahead and I opened up our little field list. These are all the fields that we have access to, um, to report on, to possibly filter by, depending on what type of field they are. Um, I clicked on outline and I want to narrow down this list of fields that we are seeing. So we don't need to see the salutation if they're um, a miss or a mister. Um, let's say first name and last name we do want to see as well as title. We don't need to know their mailing street or any of their mailing information. So I'm going to click out. It is helpful to have contact information for them as well as their email and who owns this. Let's see, I want to add a few fields. So one thing that is really helpful is to add the rating field to know kind of what stage and what process they're at. So as you can see, it added it to the end. Um, I want this to be at the very beginning. So the best way to do that is to drag the rating field all the way up. All right, that did not take. So let's try it again. There we go. All right, now you can see we do have that. Um, I want to possibly add a number. Let's see if they have any type of revenue. Yes, I want to add the annual revenue. So from this fields list, I can drag it over and then put it, let's put it next to the account name. And you can see the company's annual revenue. Um, another thing is down here, you can see that we are summarizing it. There are other ways that we can do this. We could have it be the total. We could have it be the average, the max, the min. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do one last thing before moving on. I want to add a group. So this is where you can put um, based upon a field, you can put data into different groups. So I'll show you and it'll make a little bit more sense. I want to group it by rating. So I want to see it in different subsections have by the rating. So we have cold contacts and we can also see the subtotal here of how much we lost or not how much we lost, but how much annual revenue that company was worth. We can also see warm, hot, and a blank rating. Also, this in your Salesforce org is going to be highly dependent on how well people are keeping up with inputting information into the system. Um, and that's just how reporting is going to work. So I'm going to rename this report. Um, have this be contacts report. You can name it whatever you want. It's really helpful for it to be descriptive. I'm going to click save. It'll bring up the name. We do need a unique report name and this is so then the system doesn't get confused. Typically it's going to be the report name with a unique few letter number identifier just so then the system doesn't get confused if there are 20 contact reports in your system with the name contacts report. You can add a report description, um, depending on if this is a report that is going to be widely viewed and you need some type of context with it um, or not. That's really up to you and your system. You can put this into a different folder. Um, if it's private, it, you're, only, you're the only one that can see it. So um, you also have different folders and depending on your system, you may have newer folders that you can put this in. You can put it in all folders, you can create a new folder, um, and depending on where you put it, the visibility will change. So if it's public, most of the company will be able to see it if they're in the system of Salesforce. Um, created by me is usually just you unless you share that folder. Um, and yeah, these are just the ones that are in a test org and it will probably be different for your org going to just have this be in the private reports. Click save and click run. This will take us out of the report editor and into the report viewer. 
and now you can see our lovely contact report. Um, other things that you can do here, if you have added information, you can either refresh the browser or just refresh the report. You can search the report um, and you can add a chart. Let's go ahead and add a chart. Um, this will only work if you have a group, by the way. You have to have one grouping in your report to add a report chart. I'm going to add it into a donut chart so then we can see um, which group has the most rating, um, very similar to a pie chart. I find these really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, that is how you create a contact report in Salesforce. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you did, hit the like button. Um, it really helps me out. Subscribe um, and comment down below if there are any other tutorials that you would like to see from me or any questions that you have and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Um, again, this is a part of a reporting series on my channel. So that'll be the first link down below in the description if you want to learn more. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you in the next one.